You there, Casey? Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? Had to deal with some shit. Had to deal with some shit. But I got what you needed. I delivered. Now it's... This is great! Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing, and we can get it calibrated. You're stalling, Casey. I want to hear what you got on the reserve. Not doing anything until you hold up your end. We clear? Yeah, yes. All clear. Okay. The reserve is real. But you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking and things really went to shit, I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It, it malfunctioned, and now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here. Soon. God, I can't wait to see the sky again. I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. You know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah, yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. You were the only one to make it inside? Well, no. There were others, but they didn't stay. Um, they had to leave. If the bunker was safe, why did they leave? Like I said, they left. They had to take care of something, okay? Nothing else to say about it. What's the rush to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is gonna matter if the flood water sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed or drowned. Pick your poison, right? If you get crushed, at least it would be quick, right? Yeah, well, well, with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. At least I'd have a fighting chance. Look, tourist, I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. But not to mention enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. And for me, a fresh start and some fresh fucking air. Why do you need me to get you out? Plenty of people are looking for the reserve. Why not get one of these groups to help you? Well, my gut tells me that you're my best bet. The Tower and the Reclaimed are both after the reserve, sure. Obsessed with it, you might say. They believe it will shift all the power in Nola. But I don't trust them. They're too absorbed by their agendas. You're unaligned. On your own. Like me. And hey, we may as well help each other. Right? I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. Well, it it's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm gonna turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. Good night, tourist.
Are you there? Yeah. Glad to hear your voice. Ready to get started? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, good. So, I found the manual for the pump flow regulator. It looks like we need to calibrate it before it can be installed. Each of the pumps has different flow requirements, and that component tells the rest of the system where to route the water. We should be able to figure this out. I like that attitude. Okay. On the device, you should see a serial number. Read it to me. 473-0589-01. Okay, uh, now turn the dial until you get some feedback on valve A. Uh, uh, then tell me the number you see. Feedback triggered on 55. The numbers turn green. Okay, good, 55. Uh, According to the manual, valve B should be tuned to 28 degrees. Valve B to 28. Got it. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. Valve C set. All numbers green. Awesome. Okay, uh, almost there. Now it says, depress the automatic confirmation mechanism. Uh, looking at the diagram here, it's a big round button. Should be obvious. All right. Big round button pressed. Yes! Okay, we're calibrated. Now you need to install this sucker into the pump. Uh, the pump, it's, uh, it's located outside of St. Vincent's Church. Beacon lights will be on to help find it, so that's good. Of course, uh, it'll probably attract walkers, so that sucks. Just be ready. The systems down here will... Let me know when you've installed the regulator. Oh, and uh, one more thing. A little tip that should make life a bit easier and scavenging more fruitful since, you know, we're colleagues now, <laughs> right? The tower has a radio station, number 47, that broadcasts any significant discoveries in the city and the current schedule for stirring the herd. Might be wise to tune in before heading out for the day. Privileged intel, so, you know, let's, uh, let's keep it between us. All right, gonna take a few moments to clear my head. I'll contact you when it's time for the next step. Good luck, and thanks.
Hey, Casey. You there? Yeah. Always here. Always thinking. My mind is always swirling with something these days. It's impossible to shut it down. Doesn't make sense to get all worked up. If you want to survive, you need to focus. Steady your mind. Yeah, well, I guess. But, you know, hey, this morning I realized something. I can't even remember the last time I saw the sky. It's been a while, at least that much I know. Months. Wish I would have paid more attention. You ever been to the Badlands up in South Dakota? Rolled through there once. Spectacular, right? Like another planet. My mom used to drive me through there every summer on the way to see my uncle. The night sky was so bright. So many stars, like a dome overhead. Crystal clear view of the cosmos. That put a lot of things in perspective for me back when I really needed it. How insignificant we really are in the grand scheme of things. How my troubles, no matter how big they may seem, really don't mean squat. I mean, well, what are troubles anyway, huh? The universe doesn't know the meaning of the word. I wish I had that badland sky overhead right about now. You know, the first thing I'm gonna do when free is head back north. I think I've had enough of swamp life. Heading up north might not be in the cards. Safe routes don't exist. The dead are everywhere. Well, I gotta try. I don't belong here. I knew it shortly after I arrived, too. Biggest mistake I ever made, that's for sure. But hell, you make stupid calls when you're young and desperate to get out of a bad situation. Right? Anyways, thanks for listening, tourist. I feel better. I think I'm gonna lie down. See if I can picture that badland sky up in this rusty, dripping ceiling. Steady the mind, as you say. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Heard on pause. Ramparts. Heard stir canceled. By water.
Stroll. As long as I'm fed and safe, I can give two shits about tower politics. Someone's close. there. 